Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And I'm just checking up on this Shiver of Thorn here, seeing how things are going, and want to make sure everything's going good, and we're starting to get a bit of a backlog. Uh, I had to fix a few things upstairs, the conveyors. Uh, I got a bit, a, bit, a bit of a big project today, and I'm going to need a lot of conveyors, and I don't even know if I have enough. Uh, another thing I did too, now that I'm reminded by the, the composers here, uh, I decided to deactivate the mass deconstruct. Uh, I was trying to deal with a bit of an issue here. Uh, we need more limestone up here to produce more coolant to keep the cooling systems and the conveyors going. And so I decided I was going to upgrade this line. And this conveyor line here, I was going to use the mass deconstruct. I wanted to see if it would follow along the, the actual conveyor path. Well, I kind of goofed and I made a box that covered the entire composer and the cores up to about here. Now, these are just purple, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, I tried to get out of it, but I accidentally hit the wrong button and I deleted everything. Thank God there's the backup saves. And I don't know what I broke. All these conveyors here were gone. All these conveyors are gone. And I think this, these assemblers are gone too. Not that I'm actually using this, but anyways. Uh, what I want to do today is I actually want to get a bit of a central warehouse set up. And basically everything I'm producing right now, I want to ship along a conveyor conduit that we're going to dig through a mountain up to that beacon if you look at the mini map uh, there's a little compass there you can see like uh, between at the northwest area there's a beacon about 300 meters or something uh, i want to try to basically build a conveyor pipeline going up that way and even get a monorail track going through it uh, I have been thinking about what I want to get going basically everything that's being produced and everything in the uh, intermediate so I want to try to get the plant matter frames going, the, the iron frames I'm already doing, the uh, compo iron components I've got going, but just get everything odd, odd, not only being uh, mass produced, but being filtered up to the new area, up to the freight elevator. Yes, that's where we're going, we're actually going to the freight elevator. And the reason why I want to do this is because that's going to be the next step, I don't know there it is. I was wondering why it was working. I tried to do it on the other one. One over by the... the over by the water wheels. And it wasn't working. I was trying to figure out, like, why it's not working. I remembered I actually just dismantled the other area. But so what I want to do, you know, I've got the other composer up here, but I want to get, like, a central warehouse. Uh, I, I haven't really sort of worked out a route yet. It'd be nice to be able to... You know, get a, a full view on the map because this is basically all I can see, and I'd be able to like see my base and maybe see if I can find caverns to route through or something. But we're basically going at a 45. Uh, I've only got about 11,000 conveyors right now. Another one that would be nice too is being able to see that beacon through through walls and stuff. I don't think there's actually a way to actually do anything to it, but I think yeah, you don't actually see it unless it's line of sight. But, yeah, anyways, uh, also with the mole, too, I don't remember doing this, but if I open up the menu here, apparently I have 12 by 12 unlocked, and as far as I know in the research, it's not hasn't been unlocked yet, but uh, I'll have to look into that. Oh, and that was actually another thing one I was doing, too, was uh, making some more blue cores, because I want to try to upgrade, upgrade this thing here, see how fast it actually goes. Certainly made a difference. Uh, one of the things that they're coming up with the, the new update, I was actually going to hold off on this project until then. Is they're uh, they're doing some? Uh, I mentioned some, them doing some under the, behind the scenes stuff, and they're doing this what they're calling uh, it's called machine streaming, and it's supposed to cut down the amount of resources the game has to load significantly. So having all these machines running and the animations and the sounds and all that stuff is supposed to be significantly little, less demand on your system. Uh, what did I come up here for? Oh yeah, the blue cores. Uh, I actually had them over here. Let's see what I had here. No, I was just building them up in the box here. And I've got 280. What do I need? We have enough. Alright. Take those and I'll take them up to uh, the other area. Uh, which we call it, uh, the freight elevator. And yeah, so... Now the question is, how am I going to do this? I already started digging over here. I actually probably should make some lights. I was thinking about doing that. Do I have anything on me to make them? No, I like these lights. They actually uh, cover a large area, but 
And use the Kindle Vine too, so get rid of that stuff. Uh, let me get some lights together and I'll be back. I decided to check my plant matter frames. Now either this is a good sign or a bad sign. Uh, I'm going to take a stack and make some lights out of it. Aha! We have a problem. I broke something. What did I do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aha! That's why, I, that's right. I, uh, that mass deconstruct. I was trying, I think I was like up top here and I was trying to get this, but for some reason it was taking the blocks on top. So, yeah. A little snap, a little snag here, but I'll fix this, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I've done, done some surveying and I think the Realistically, the best way to do it is to follow this tunnel I've already got with the, the monorail. Now, we do have to go up in an eleva elevation, um, but I might cut through here a little bit. And when I get up to this part, I'm trying to think about whether I want to try to sneak in behind here, because as far as I can tell, this wall isn't protected anywhere. Um, but then that means that I have this huge wall i got to take out, but I think that's going to be a protected area anyways. It's not. I could dig through it. Actually, it is protected. Oh, maybe not. Could do that, but that's work. I got enough tunneling to do as it is. But, I'm also thinking about coming through here. Now this, uh, down below, it's about seven blocks wide. Or seven tiles. And then if I go here... Not do that. And then I'm getting... Get about four here, but I, th I was thinking about actually going up. Maybe... Sort of... Up above the the accumulators and then when we get up here in theory I'm gonna actually test this out right now if I look at my beacon I should be able to just punch a hole right through here let's actually change this go to a 12 by 12 oh yeah I gotta actually apply it that's right I hit a protected area what's going on here and we got the ore there. And that's some lag. Anyway, uh, yeah, I should be able to punch through here. In theory. And there it is. Perfect. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start digging a very big tunnel from there to here. And I'll bring it back. Okay, I am done. A uh, couple of issues using uh, the 12x12 12 12 with the mole. One, it overheats really fast. It'll burn them through cooling like there's no tomorrow. And two, it completely fills your inventory full of limestone and plant matter and all the other stuff that you don't actually want. Now, where was that chest I was putting all this stuff into? There it is. Just dumping all this in here so I actually have space so I can move around. Uh, let's get that off the bar. Okay, so this is what I got. So I decided I'm gonna, we're going to come through here. And we're going to cut this way. I'm going to turn right or left. And then we're going to work up this way. And I'm... Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, have some issues when you get into water. You can't actually get out if you get fully submerged. So that's a bit of a thing. But yeah, I'm going to decide I'm going to come right... right Come across the accumulators here, right up to about this point here. Then we're gonna go up here. I can get up there, right up to about here. And then we go up this way. I'm gonna keep going right around. I was trying to take this thing out. That's gonna take a while, though, so I'm not gonna bother doing that. You come over here, and then I'll probably get it. Maybe even set up right here. Might be a good spot. So, yeah, I'm going to start routing and laying some floor here, get a whole bunch of conveyors laid out, and I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, so I decided to just lay an entire floor down because I realized I wasn't going to have enough room because uh, I more or less want all the everything into uh, rows of containers back to back. Now, uh, oh yeah, I already got them on the bar. Of course I do. I was actually prepared this time. And so I want to see if I can get how many items do we have. I thought I was thinking it was going to be 16 I need because I want to get all these going. Uh, maybe not necessarily the bio bricks. Uh, conveyors are going to be a thing. 
Uh, I would like to try to get mining charges automated if I can. Uh, that's just more plant fiber and kindle line I have to deal with. Uh, but let's see what we can get on here. I think we do have some more room I can get more stuff on. So let's go start over at the composer here. In fact... Try right here. Uh, how many can I get? One, two, three, four, five. Go six there. Then along this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 10, 11, 12, 15, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And it was perfect place, placing on that light, too. Alright, well, so now let me uh, get the containers and the sorters. Basically, the conveyors are going to be coming in from this side. They're going to be funneling that way. That was the plan. I was also thinking about going two stories, but... That might actually be a smarter idea. Maybe I'll do that instead. Okay, so this is what I went with. Uh, I decided to... Oh, I not jump in the water. I decided to leave a, a three block gap just in case I want to pull someone from the sides. Uh, I, will, I can take from the front from two different spots, but if I need to come from the, either side, I can, can, so I've got the room for it. Uh, I do have two levels. I've been thinking about like really what I want to mass produce. Like realistic, realistically, I'd like to get... Uh, like I said, I want to get, I want to get the basics going. That coolant's going to be in there. I want to get bio bricks. I forgot. I want to get power floors going. That's not given. They're already being produced already. I have thought about possibly accumulators since they're already being produced anyways. But uh, again, that's something we can always set up over here. But I don't know, know what the next step is going to be. Uh, there's going to be one for conveyors and all that stuff. But Anyway, uh, that is this. Uh, also, while I was working here, for some reason, my power decided it was going to completely die on me. I don't know if maybe uh, the other section got unloaded for some reason or whatever, but I came here and this was completely black. Nothing was running. There was no power, no power generation. It was just a black screen. So I decided to go over there and everything was running. I came back here and the power was up and fine and all that stuff. And the only thing I really did was I made, made a bit of a mistake here. I was placing this block here and I kind of built a little platform I started deleting a couple of blocks and then the power went out and I thought maybe I'd discon disconnect the cable somewhere but uh, no, no that was that wasn't it so now, now is the fun part uh, I probably will have to take take out the I'll try to leave the lights in, I'll probably have to take out the, the monorail but uh, yeah, I'm going to start laying some conveyors down uh, actually what I do have to do is figure out where I'm going to have the mess that I got up Try to get all these conveyors to this door. Oops. Stuck on a light there. Because that's going to be the problem. So I plan on bringing 16 at least. So, or up to 16. So I'm thinking two two stacks of four on either side of the corridor. But uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of getting conveyors like from these containers over here and that container over there and. The, this can, oh, that container over there and the container downstairs, so it could be a bit of a mess, but fortunately I have like 15,000 conveyors. Uh, that's actually a new feature to turn on. They're adding to the new up, next update too. There's going to be a setting in the, the main menu settings here that allows you to actually turn conveyor movement off. So if you don't like the free travel, you can turn that off. Personally, I like it. It gets a little annoying sometimes if you're staying in the wrong spot, but I like it. But look at that, 15,000 conveyors. Anyway, i got to make some inventory space and start laying conveyors, and I'll bring you back with a whole bunch of lag. Alright, well, I've decided I'm going to start bringing the conveyors up onto, like, a sort of a subfloor to make it a little more out of the way, but I've most a little bit of a bug. Okay, so this assembler is actually running. Now, I have a power floor on the top that is actually connected to the ceiling. If I take this out... Something loses power. Hmm, weird, because when I placed it before, this was showing like a... And when I placed it, there we go. So it's kind of weird, it's reading this power floor over the floor it's actually on. But then if I go ahead and connect it... If I, uh... Connect it... It works. And after about two hours and a little over 6,000 conveyors, I am back. And I am done. 
I have gotten everything except for the coolant, which hasn't been made yet. And I think the only other thing I haven't got going over there is uh, the mining charges. And I'm not really too worried about that. But anyways, I'll show you the, the mess I have created. So yeah, I got the processors that are looping around over there. And then we go over here. Um, I had to get another setup going for plant uh, the plant matter frames. Uh, I was actually getting quite a bit of surplus of stems in here because this nightmare. But it is working. It's creating plant, plant matter frames, which are going down here along the conveyor line. I got the coolant or the cooling systems and the conveyor belts here. Uh, what else do I have? I got all these ones over here. Uh, this was a, a setup I had going for the, the water wheels. And they were all set up to making different, different components. So I got the iron components there. I have electric components there. I have the copper components, copper wire. And then all the other stuff that's joined in, like the frames, the bio bricks, and the power floors, and all that stuff. And we will run the gauntlet all the way down. I'll actually fly it so we can actually see a little bit better. But uh, yeah, it's only 14. I got room for two more. Because I got two more chests over there. I can always add more. But this wasn't isn't bad. I was expecting a little more leg, but I don't have items moving yet. I intentionally cut the conveyors so they wouldn't back up and what I did is I actually let some stuff go through at the end so I could at least see what there is so then they all come up to here and then from here is where I'm going to take it, take it out and I think I think what I'm going to do is from this point I'm going to start laying them flat out wide and then have uh, half of them go up and half of them go down so let me take care of that and I shall return Okay, there we go. I uh, do have some room. We could probably do some stuff with this area a little later. Again, I don't really know what's going on with uh, the future updates, where the game's going to go. But only thing left to do... Well, two things left to do, actually. Uh, I'm actually wondering if I can get a monorail pole down here. Not a monorail. There it is. That. Oh. I had to do it. Uh, even didn't I? Yeah, it might work. Anyway, let's go back and then uh, I gotta see if I get the monorail hooked up. Then we just have to hook up these conveyors and pray the light doesn't kill my computer. Could be a good benchmark for the the next update, which is supposed to be in a couple of weeks. They say uh, late October, early November. And okay, so I got the mono. Oh, I took it down. Uh, hmm. See if I can... Actually, no, I don't want to have to go all the way over there to get it. Uh, let's see here. I kind of wanted to go down the middle of it. Now I realize that's not going to be possible. Oh, well. We'll work out transportation later. Right now, it's a matter of the logistics. The only thing I left to do is... Look at how many I have. I have 10,000. I started with 17,000. Okay, so all I got left to do is hook up these conveyors. And, oh, that's on the dirt. Okay, do that. And that. And that. And that. Oh, I missed the road, didn't I? Yes, I did. Alright, bring on the lag. Let's go for a ride. Back a little bit. Oh, I see that. There's a uh, draw distance on some of the models. The conveyors, they don't show up further than however far that is. Hmm, something's going on with the plant matter frames. Anyway, I will meet you at the top. Okay, we have made it. So everything is moving nice and smoothly. I did have one conveyor going the wrong way, but I fixed it. Uh, oh, I was going to say there's something wrong with that one, but it's not. And yeah, we've got room for two other things in here. Uh, like I said, I did have it spaced out like this because uh, when the time comes where I want to start using, let's say, the advanced processors or the copper frames, at least I can just drop down some conveyors and some inserters and pull it off the chest at the end. Uh, the reason why I have so much is because the chest will fill up eventually, and I want to make sure I have a good stock for 
whatever we may need. Who knows what's going to happen when we head up there. Might be more stuff to do, obviously. But anyways, I've been at this for a while, so I'm going to call it. So I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, don't forget to uh, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Later.